hello. So today is wash day. I am just going to co-wash with this Aussie Moist Miracle Curls co-wash. My hair is not really dirty, so and I don't have a lot of product on it. T-shirt to dry, never a towel. Hello and welcome back. I am about to start the second process of my natural hair care regimen, which is conditioning or deep conditioning and detangling my hair. Um, today I'm going to use this AG Boost conditioner. It's a natural conditioner with apple cider vinegar. And I'm going to detangle with this. I will rinse this out after I finish detangling. And um, then I will go on to the styling process. I always put my hair in four sections. Uh, it's just easier to manage and you're able to get all the strands of your hair. And I usually start in the back when I start um, with the product. 
Right now I'm just going to put it in four sections. And I have not detangled my hair or anything. I just co-washed it as you saw in the first clip. And I just took the t-shirt off from that co-wash. So this is what my hair looks like with nothing on it. I am going to spray some warm water on it before I go in with the conditioner uh, because the conditioner needs that water to work properly. So you want your hair to be damp. It says um, massage and to clean damp hair for one to three minutes, comb through and rinse. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to detangle. I have a Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush. You can use your fingers or you can use any kind of detangling tool that you have. Um, just make sure it's a good detangling tool and kind of detangle with your fingers first to make sure that you don't have any big knots or anything in there. So I'm going to go in and spray my hair with some warm water. And I will make this section even smaller when I start detangling. You don't want to detangle a whole section like that if you have thick hair. And my hair is pretty thick. So um, I'll, you know, make that section a little smaller. And I've never used this product before, so I'm just going to take like two pumps and make sure I emulsify it in my hands because that's what gets the product working. You want to make sure you do that. And then I'm just going to put it on my strands and kind of finger detangle a little bit. And like I said, my hair has not been detangled at all in a week. I wore it in the wash and go. Um... I'm going to take my brush and start at the ends and just work my way up, getting those tangles out. And if you feel like you don't have enough product, go add more product or add more water. If you feel like it's not gliding the way that you want it to. And that section is detangled. So I'll just take a little more. This section is a little bigger than the last, so I'll probably use about four or five pumps of the conditioner just to make sure I coat it thoroughly. four I'm just gliding my fingers through getting out all of the big knots and start at the ends You want to make sure you get the roots as well because that's going to set you up for a good style. If you don't detangle your hair well, your style will not come out well. So you do want to make sure that you detangle well. It can get kind of messy, but it's worth it. And then this is the last little subsection of this section.
I'm just going to twist that up and get it out of the way and I will do the other three sections the same exact way. You want to make them a, a little smaller, especially when you're detangling. You don't want to detangle a huge section of hair. Um, it's just going to put more work on you if you try to do that. So I'm just going to twist that up, take a clip and clip it. And that first section is done. And I will come back when I have all four sections done and rinsed out. And I'll be ready to style my hair. All right, so now it is time for the styling process. I just rinsed out my um, conditioner. And again, this is what I used for conditioner. And this is what I used to co-wash my hair. And to style my hair today, I want a style where my hair is going to be kind of big and fluffy. So I'm not using any gel or anything. I'm going to use a leave-in conditioner, which this is the Giovanni Direct Leave-In Weightless Moisture Conditioner. Then I'm going to use the Jane Carter Curls to Go Curl Cocktail. Um, this is a wash and wear for super curly, super coily hair. And this is like a styling cream. And then I'm going to use, this is something that I've made up. It is shea butter, coconut oil, and some several um, other different things. And I call it my grease mix. Um, so this is my oil for the LCO. Which is a process to moisturize your hair. The L is for leave-in, the C is for cream, and the O is for oil. Um, and you can do that in different combinations, uh, or you know, you could start with the oil, you could start with the cream, it just all depends on what your hair likes. And I know that my hair likes the leave-in, the cream, and then the oil, which my oil is a grease mix. So you will need that, a water bottle. I just have plain water in there. I have clips to clip my hair up and I still have my detangling brush just in case my hair has gotten tangled a little bit, which I doubt that it has. I'm just gonna put my hair in four sections. It's just easier that way to work with your hair in four sections when whatever you're doing, if you're pre-pooing. Um, sometimes you can shampoo your hair in sections if you have thicker, coarser hair. It'll be easier for it not to get tang uh, tangled back up. Or uh, when I'm styling my hair, I always work in sections. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in sections. And I use a t-shirt to dry my hair um, just because a towel is going to add lint in your hair. It's going to be super rough on your hair. Uh, so a cotton t-shirt or one of those microfiber towels will work well. Uh, so this is, again, with my hair, it looks like with no product. I just washed out the conditioner and I'm going to start in the back and I'm just going to do my hair in four sections. I'm gonna get the product on there and then I'm just going to plait it up uh, because again, the style that I'm going for, I want my hair to be big and voluptuous. So I don't want my curls to do what they usually do. So I'm going to manipulate them to do what I want them to do. So, I'm just gonna put my hair in four sections. And I don't use um, a lot of styling tools usually. I try to use my fingers most of the time. My hair is pretty detangled. It's not tangled up, so it's easier to do. Now my hair is different from side to side. Uh, these curls are tighter, uh, but it is basically the same length. Um, it just, that's just the way my hair is. So I'm gonna start on this side first because I usually start on this side first. And I'm just gonna spray a little water on there. I don't want it super wet because, um, again, 
the style that I'm going for, the look that I'm going for, it does not have to be wet. I just want it kind of damp. That'll give me the elongation that I'm looking for. When your hair is super wet, it's going to get super curly. So, I'm just going to work that in to all of my strands. And I'm going to take my brush because I do want my style to look good. Detangling um, your hair is very important in the styling process because if you style your hair and it's tangled, it is not going to come out the way you want it to. So I'm going to go in with the next product, which is going to be the Curly Cocktail. And I'm just going to get a little bit of that. And put that on the whole section. And as you can see, like you can't see the whiteness of those products. Those products mix well together. Um, if you are using a gel with a cream, you want to do a product test on your hand first to make sure those products will mix together. And you just take a little bit of each product, put it on your hand. If it starts to clump up or little white balls form, that means that those products are not gonna mix well on your hair. So you want the products to form a not a gel, but a, you know, a clear cast on your hand. If it, if it's, if it's smooth and does well on your hand, then it'll do well on your hair. Um, but if not, it's going to clump up on your hair. You're going to have flakes and everything else. And so this is the grease mix and I'm only going to use about that much. I'm going to take it and rub it in my hands. And this is just to seal everything in that I just put on my hair. So it's just to keep all that moisture in. And you want to give your ends some special attention. So I always go back and get a little bit more and just put that right on my ends because those, that's the oldest part of our hair and um, it needs a little more attention. If you're trying to retain length, uh, you're gonna have to take care of those ends. So I'm just gonna brush it one more time and get everything nice and smooth. And then I'm just going to plait, which is three strands. All the way down. And at the very end, I just do two strands and kind of make a coil at the end. And that's what that looks like. And I would do that for the other three sections of my hair and tie it down or sit under the dryer for a little bit for it to dry. And then I will take it out tomorrow. So I'm going to get started. I am going to separate and fluff. You just kind of want to separate where your hair is naturally going to separate. So there's one already.
just wanted to play with it a little bit. What you want to do, which you would want to do this when you get done with all of it, you want to go in and really pick the roots. That's what's going to give you the fluff and the big hair when you pick your roots. Okay, so at this point, what I would probably do is take Thanks for watching. If anybody has any questions, just let me know. You guys have a good night.